Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we were wandering around the school still and encountering fellow students along the way. Uh, we met quite a few of them. The ultimate cosplayer Sumugi. Uh, we met ultimate question mark Rantaro. Uh, we also met these two here. The one on the right is the ultimate magician. She calls herself a mage though. Himiko. And on the left is the ultimate Aikido person. Um, Tenko. Uh, so now let's continue on. Oh, by the way, I found out, I did some research. It turns out that I'm not the only one having control issues with this game on Steam. So that's a shame. Um, looks like they had some trouble with the port. So certain buttons that you press or whatever are just don't register or get stuck or whatever. Um, but I figured out how to save, so I was able to save. But it's a hassle. <laughs> so I'm very displeased about that. Like, Steam, come on. I don't know if it's necessarily their fault, but I'm still unhappy. So let's uh, exit the room. Let's hope uh, I don't have these issues during the actual, like trial portions or whatever. Um, okay, we read. Oh, and in the warehouse was Miu. I forgot about her. Uh, ultimate inventor. Which one was this one? The school store. Oh yeah, we couldn't go in. Is there another way I'm missing? Is this the gym? Locked. Huh? Huh? It won't open. Seems like we can't go into the gym. Hmm? What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Uh, it's nothing. I just feel strange. Deja vu. Um. Strange? How so? Uh, okay. Like, yep, I was right. <laughs> Deja vu? I feel like I've been here before. Could it be? We might be caught up in something even stranger than we imagined. Well, it's natural to feel unsettled when we know so little about what's going on. Yeah. But we'll probably be fine. Um. What makes you say that? Because... Because we have 16 ultimate students on our side. As long as we work together as friends, I just know nothing bad will happen. Friends. Well, that's a nice sentiment. Um, but I guess we weren't supposed to come this way. Whoops, my bad. I don't see anywhere else to go. Oh, what's this? That's locked too. Um, I guess this doesn't open. Let's look somewhere else. Hmm. You're right. Okay. There's this whole section. We didn't come here, right? Oof, it's kind of dizzying. Wait, what's this? Is a classroom? Okay. Level up. Someone in here? Oh, two people. Hey! Well, what the? <laughs> okay. Uh, every time I see him in the demo, he has an interesting voice in English. Um, I have, n I, I have no idea what voice to give him. I, I don't know if I can pull it off. <sighs> hey, wait for me! Please stop! Please stop! Don't come any closer! That boy in white is chasing that other boy in the funny clothes. What's happening here? What the? <laughs> okay, let's talk to the normal one, maybe? Although he's not dressed normal. Please stop! Don't come any closer. <laughs> come on, wait up. Let me touch your body a little. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh, that's why. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? What? A robot? What is it? What is it? 
Are you another robophobe? That's enough. I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Hey. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for reals a robot? No. Are you one of the mono cubs? Please stop! Do not compare me to those toys. I'm not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kibo. Kibo! Oh, you know who I'm reacting? Um, my dog's name is Kiba. <laughs> Which in Japanese means Fang. Um, but everybody thinks he's a girl because his name ends in A. And I'm like, no, it's Japanese. He's a boy. <laughs> um, but, aw, that name is so similar to my baby. And you're a robot, and he has a cute voice. He has a cute young voice, which I can't get anywhere near. Ah, <sighs> oh well. Ultimate robot. Wow. Um, ultimate robot? Hmm. That's not fair! You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself to... Yeah. Oh, um, go ahead. I'm Kokichioma. The ultimate supreme leader. Yeah, I I can't do your voice. I keep changing it. I don't know what to do for you. You are you are you are weird ultimate supreme leader. Like what the frick? Ultimate supreme leader. A what? A robot and supreme leader. Neither of them make any sense. By the way, By the way, I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. Okay, no. <sighs> I'll find the red voice for him eventually. I, I don't know. That's rude, though. Rude. My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> what the that laugh? My god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Sounds kind of like Yamato. But his laugh sounded like that, so if I can get somewhat close to his laugh, maybe I can get the right voice. That is not funny. You're not funny. Right? Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand you and humor to begin with. Do not mock me! I have studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Um... Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a mere high school student just like you. Huh? You're a high school student? Yeah. I was created by Professor Idabashi, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed in me a strong AI, capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why, at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But... But the professor raised me like I was his own child. He could've just adopted a kid, but uh... Oh well. You're still pretty adorable, I guess. You seem nice. He taught me so many things. Until finally, he enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now I stand here before you all. See? I'm just like everyone else. Hey, do robots have dicks? Oh my god, Kokichi, what the frick? I, I still, I don't know. You are a weirdo. Hey. Please do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> <laughs> I only asked because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. <laughs> oh my god, are you a pervert? Why? First we have Mono Kid, who's like a total pervert, and now you? Jesus. Well, I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. Um. Hey, Kokichi, I don't really understand your ultimate supreme leader talent. Ah. Ooh, that face, he's creepy. <laughs> Oh, I'm just the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That's all. Huh? 
What? Um, I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? Seriously? The supreme leader of an evil secret organiza- Because I'm a liar. Huh? Who knows? I am a liar, after all. Huh? Huh? So you were lying just now? It's true! What the? Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That part was true. Jeez. So, were you lying or not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you. Hey. Ah, uh, by the way, what is the name of that organization? Ah. It's a secret. You know, because it's a secret organization. But... But I've never heard of such a large secret organization like that. Maybe. Of course you haven't, because it's a secret organization. Jeez. Hey, everything he said so far has sounded like a lie. So that's gotta be a lie too, right? Oh dear. Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. Well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because robots aren't people, silly. <sighs> That's rude. <laughs> oh, are you mad? Are you gonna hit me with a rocket punch? Please do. I, can't. I don't have that function. Aww. <laughs> am, I, am I like Kokichi just for being disappointed by that? <laughs> Aw, oh, man, you're boring. What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous little kid. This is no time to be joking around. Unless he really is an evil supreme leader? I don't know. He's a weirdo. <laughs> Both of them. Alright. But Kibo seems nice. But, uh, can't trust that, uh, can't trust anyone, even if they do seem nice. Oh my god, what if Shuichi's a killer? Oh, that's gonna break my heart. <laughs> uh, okay. So, I guess we go downstairs? There are stairs here, and looks like it goes down to the basement. Shuichi. What should we do, Shuichi? You wanna head down? Hmm. I don't know. The basement might be dangerous. This place is full of mysteries. That's right. Then let's proceed with caution. With you at the front. Uh, okay. uh, so I'm in front. I see. With hesitant Shuichi le leading the way, we carefully made our way down the stairs. Poor Shuichi. What's down here? Um. It doesn't look very dangerous to me. Really? Oh, well, some dangers are hidden where you can't see. I see. Shuichi, you have quite the imagination, don't you? No. No, I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But we should look around the basement, too. Right? There might be an exit. Oh, but we should be careful. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Uh, which way? I don't see anyone? Library? Oh. Well, there's people here. As soon as I opened the door, I suddenly gagged from the musty smell of old books. Hmm. Is this a library? You're right. There are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. Uh, oh, does that bother you? Are you a neat freak, Shuichi? No. No, it's just... I was wondering if someone was using it before us. Huh? Huh? Someone? No. Ah, uh, it's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. Uh, let's just talk to her then. Hey. Um... Are you an ultimate student, too? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. 
Huh? Is that it? She sure doesn't talk much. I... I'm Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm... I'm Shuichi Saihara, and I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. Jeez, not suppose. You are the ultimate detective, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Um, and what about you? Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. Hmm? Oh, like babysitter? Okay. I see. Ultimate child caregiver, huh? <sighs> Surprise. I don't look like someone who'd like kids, do I? Huh? That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Um, but, but if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly, either. Mm -hmm. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much, hey. then they can probably tell how loving you really are, Maki. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. That's wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? Huh? What do you mean by that? So what? Nothing. It's just, I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? I see. Um. Uh, by the way, do you know anything about the mono cubs? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, someone's got to be controlling them, right? Any idea who it might be? Like I'd know. How would I know? Hmm. Well, fair point. Hmm, the mono cubs are definitely involved in our situation. Hey, boy detective, shouldn't you have figured out what's going on already? Huh? What? Um... Well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything. Yeah. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Well... Seriously? You think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group capable of that would just let us just walk out of here? That's not true. If they won't end this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. What? Work together. With strangers. You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. Well, she's the Kyoko of the group, isn't she? Kind of. Except she's not a detective, but... Her personality kind of reminds me of her. Our conversation finished. She quickly headed out of the library. Hmm. That was kind of odd. She didn't seem like the ultimate child caregiver. Jeez. Jeez, don't say that. Uh, okay. Um. Rear sliding door. And what's this? Hmm. Huh? Huh? Um. What's wrong? Um. This door barely opens a crack. Was it poorly built? I see. Well, nothing we can do about it. Let's search somewhere else. Okay. What is this? Game room. Okay. Oh. There's somebody here. Huh? It looks like a game room. But this is a school, right? Is it normal for a school to have its own game room? Well, it certainly is strange. Uh, how do we do detective mode again? Oh, so I think you can click on her that and that. Alright, let's talk to this guy first then. What now? <laughs> the guy, he's so weird. He reminds me of like a biker dude. Um, That hat is strange and he looks weird. And then his voice is all deep, which doesn't match his face. <laughs> Sheesh, what a strange place. 
When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we'd have a game room. Um, are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, right? You've still got a ways to go. Isn't that what you guys are walking around looking for? Then figure it out yourself. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. However, we may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here. Compared to prison, anyway. Wait, prison? How old are you? Huh? Prison? What? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? It's an old story. Hmm. Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the Ultimate Tennis Pro, no longer exists. Ultimate Tennis Pro. And his name is Ryoma! Guys, I don't know how many of y'all know about a sh uh, an anime that was called Prince of Tennis. But that is totally... <laughs> that's like a callback to that. That was a good anime. I, I didn't finish the whole thing. I actually should go back and watch the whole thing one day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, his name was Ryoma Echizen. And he was a tennis player. And uh, he was the prince of tennis. It was a pretty cool show. So yeah, interesting. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. Hmm. He's a weirdo. He doesn't look like a tennis player. Ryoma Hoshi. Really? I've seen you in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia. Huh? Whoa! A mafia? And he took them down himself? Why? Mm, I kind of want to talk to him just to figure out more about him. You took down a mafia by yourself? If I remember correctly... Papers said he shot them through the head with his tennis skills and an iron ball. Ooh, that's pretty brutal. What the hell? Really? <laughs> hmm, so you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before you who used his talent to kill? Um, but why would you throw away your future like that? Jeez. Hmm, because I didn't need a future anymore. No, it's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. More importantly... Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to just walk up to a killer like me. As he said that, he turned his back to us. Is he gonna accept our friendship? I don't know. It's weird. Interesting. Okay. Nope. Locked. Hmm. It looks like it's locked. Yeah. I wonder what's inside this room. I hope we can investigate it later. Okay. Let's go. What else is there? There should be more to the basement. Uh, we came from up there. It's the library. Oh, that's it? Did we meet everybody? I feel like we're missing one. Hmm. Who am I missing? How do I find them? Uh. We already were in this classroom. Basement. Where else do I need to go? Oh, it's open! Oh, maybe this is... So I guess we did what we were supposed to do then. <laughs> oh, we couldn't go through here before, right? Looks like the iron gate opened. Did someone open it for us? Let's check it out. Okay. Oh, is this the entrance hall? Right, Shuichi? This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Uh, okay. Yeah. I suppose so. Hey. Which means... Mm -hmm. That door must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we can escape this place, right? No. Wait, I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Do not work. Oh. Uh, it's you. That's... okay. Yeah, he's creepy looking. <laughs> Worrying about that isn't necessary. 
I've already examined the doors. Uh, oh, uh... Yes. You wonder, who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. My name is Korekio Shinguchi. I am called the Ultimate Anthropologist. His voice is very familiar. It's been driving me crazy. I gotta look it up. Hmm. Korekio? Anthropologist? Oh. Please, call me Kyo. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? I see. Okay, sure. Anthropology is... Studies, customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. I took a class about that in, high s in college. <laughs> there may even be customs in your daily life. The origins of which you do not know. Let's see. For example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these through rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I sort of get it, but not really. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's correct. Well, of course, it's fun. It is a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. Okay, he's creepy. <laughs> I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. I had to adjust the voice for him, because I just remembered he's kind of creepy. <laughs> um. Oh, um... Uh. I find... All aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> He's so weird. <laughs> People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep, and it turns out he is one, too. Anyway, we can go outside if we just go through these doors, right? If so... You should find the answers to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Sh shattered What does he mean by that? Hmm. Who knows? He's creepy. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we'll be doing that in the next episode then. Uh, let me see. Where's that button? I gotta find it again. Hold on. Aha! Here it is. Okay, so now I can get in here. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye!